Hey there, so here's another cool feature that we're going to add to the CFX firmware in the next update. And uh, it's a variation on the flame effect. So you can now use the uh, drift parameter to turn the flame uh, upside down. And for the rest, it will keep every other uh, parameter that it already has. So uh, this includes the uh, angle responsiveness that we've added lately. Um, so this will be available in the next firmware update. That's a very cool flame effect and using the regular parameters you can uh, set it to uh, cover most of the blade or just a very small piece of the blade. Uh, you can make it angle responsive or just set it to a specific length that you want. You can set it to be more or less unstable, um, just like you're used to with the regular flame effect. But now upside down. So I really like this. I think it looks really cool. And I hope you're going to try this one out after the next update. Now, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me on uh, crystalfocus.net uh, or through the Facebook groups, and I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Bye bye.